Okay, today we're going to talk about tire chain installation on a school bus. Go over it with you guys so that you got an idea of what you're doing here. Um, we have two different styles of hooks. We've got this hook here that's just a hook, and then we've got this hook here that is a hook with a latch. Now, I'm just using this chain here as an example. You don't hook two chains together, but we're going to use the ends to show you how that works. Now with this one here, we just hook like that, and that will hook it. With this one here, it goes like that, then this piece comes back in here, and then this little hasp is down over top of that and locks that into place. Now, if you have your little tool, your tool should fit right in there if you need leverage. Now this is what we call a cam lock style of tire chain and it's called a cam lock style chain because it has these cams on it. Now these cams have to be to the outside of the tire. These hooks here on your cross links what we call knuckles has got to be installed knuckles up. So it's got to be installed with the knuckles facing the up position like you see them here. If the knuckles are in this position that is upside down and you can't install it that way. I'm going to hit the pause button. Bill. Okay, now what you want to do is lay your chain out and get it as straight as you can. So you can make sure that these cross links are not twisted or whatever. And you can see that this cam here, the position that it's in versus the position that this is in, this cam is in a locked position. So you want to flip that and make sure that that is unlocked because that could affect the installation of the chain and how it fits onto the tire. It'll still fit, it might be harder to get on or it won't be adjusted properly when you get it done. So make sure that all your cams are loose and not tight, all your knuckles are up, okay? And we've got this situated, says that the cams will be to the outside of the tire where we can get our tool in to hook them to tighten them once they're on. Now, this chain has 15 cross links. Now, these are what we call cross links right here. Okay, they have 15 cross links, and we're going to count to the middle link, which would be the eighth link. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight, and you'll notice that somebody painted mm -hmm. the eighth cross link yellow so they could see where the center link was. So it's very important to get that center link in line here to where you know where it's at. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this side and I'm going to grab a hold of the chain on either side of that yellow, and I'm going to take this part to the inside of the tire. And we're going to put the yellow at the 12 o'clock position on the tire. Okay, so we got the yellow at the 12 o'clock position. We'll hold that in place. We're going to sling that around the tire. Okay, and we're going to do the same to the back. We're going to sling this around. Sling that around like that. Okay. Now, while we're here, I'm going to adjust this chain to where it's got one cross link between the knuckle link and the top of the tire. One, 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 and one. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that is a good guide to help you keep your chain straight. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to take the bottom link, right there, the bottom link, I'm going to take this hook, put that to the inside of the tire, and I'm going to take that link, and I'm going to wedge that right up underneath the tire, like that. Now what that does is that will stabilize this entire chain, hopefully stabilize this entire chain, where whenever you start backing up, it won't flop around. Okay? I'm going to tuck that in, hold that straight, make sure that your hook and your cams are out from underneath the tire, because if you don't and the tire runs over that, it's going to bend it and you won't be able to hook it right. Okay? All right, pause. All right, this here is our cam adjusting tool. Now this tool here 
will fit in that little slot that is on that hook that I showed you earlier and it also fit in a little slot that is on the cams and it should have one of these in every bag of new chains that has this stuff. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to mark the front door of this bus and I'm going to use this just because it's handy and I've got it but if you are in a position where you don't have this you could even make a mark in the snow with your foot you can even do one of these num do one of these numbers here where we just mark that but I'm going to lay this down so I can see it I'm going to get in here and I'm going to back the bus up from the corner of the entry door here to the corner of the entry door in the front. We're going to go backwards with that. Okay? Go ahead and pause. Okay, now, is it still on? No, no, I got it on. Pause. Pause. Oh. <laughs> You'll see we have backed the bus up, and normally this amount of distance is the easiest way to gauge the distance is by marking the door and backing up. And that should allow us enough distance to where we can work with our chain in the back and get it hooked up and installed the way that it needs to be. Yep. Okay. There you go. Okay, now, you'll notice that after we tuck that in and it stabilized that, look how nice and neat that chain fell right into place on that tire. It's nice and neat. It is just about perfect where it needs to be. So, going to count one, two, three, about three lengths up. And we're going to do this here. And we're going to drape that about halfway on the tire right there. Now what that does is that gives us a little bit of slack to the inside to hook the inside of our chain. Now if you'll notice the depth on the tire, the depth on your tire if it is about halfway war like this tire is you can probably take up a couple of three lengths on the inside of your chain if it's got a new tire where the tread is thicker, you're probably only going to get one or two, and I'll show you that here in a minute after I get it hooked to the inside. Alright, now it's a little difficult to see in the dark here, but you can see that I went to the end of the chain and I went to the third link and hooked it on the inside of the tire. Okay, That's on the inside of the tire, I went to that third link up and hooked it, so I've got two links hanging off of the side. I just, I'm going to leave that running. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull right here, pull this up like that, and I'm going to hold it, I'm going to reach up here and I'm going to grab this one, I'm going to pull it out like that, okay, and then I'm going to take up the most of the slack on the outside of the tire, now I'm going to go one, two, three, to the fourth one up, I'm going to hold that out of the way to where that link is out by itself, slide this through, and then pull that down, pull that down like that, and then slide this hasp up. See? Just like that. How about that? Okay. And then you'll notice if you look around the chain, around the tire, and you can reach your hand inside and pull that out a little bit and adjust it. One, 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 even. Okay? Then pause it. Alright, now that we've got this all on and hooked, we've got slack in the chain, okay, you don't want that slack, we've got to take that slack out, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our tool, we're going to put that tool right there in the slot, we're going to turn it, one, we're going to do that to all of them, two, three, you hear that, that popping noise means that chain's getting tight. Okay, now, one last one. I got one down here that I can't get to, so I'm going to have to pull the bus up a little bit to be able to get to that, to tighten that up, because you can see that there's still a little bit of slack 
right there in that chain, which you could probably run it like that, but you want them to be as tight as they can. So I'm gonna go ahead and back this up a little bit and hit that last one and tighten it up. Just tell them you back the bus up. <laughs> Action. We good? Yep. We're running. All right, now, since we've backed that bus up, now we can get to that one. And we're gonna take it, and we're gonna tighten that up a little bit. And see, actually, actually, we could probably even take and loosen this back up here. And loosen this up here, we could probably do that. And we could probably actually, because that's a little looser than I like, we probably could take this up another link even further. See? And now watch, I'm going to take that tool and I'm going to put it right in there like that. And pull that back and slide that right over there. See? Straighten this chain up a little bit and then retighten. One and this chain's twisted. We're gonna have to go backwards with that. that maybe not. There we go. Well, it's getting tight now. Okay. Now you'll notice taking that up. That one extra link took all of that slop out of that chain. It's on there, good and tight. Okay. Now just. To be safe, we're going to take a bungee and put on there. And this is one of the bungees that Hancock County supplies with the buses. And if you like, you can go and buy regular bungee cords. We're going to take this here and we're going to hook it like that. We're going to try to have the hook out. We're going to go to the bottom one. Straighten your arm and use your body weight. Show a picture of me with my face facing away. See, I've got my face facing away. That way, if something happens and this snaps, it doesn't hopefully get you in the face. We're going to take that down. Use your body weight so you don't strain your back. We're going to hook it, just like that. Okay. So we're going to take this here. We're going to hook it. Just like that. I don't want to hook it where the cam is. We'll take this one here. We're going to hook that one. And then keeping your face away from it, we're going to hook here. We're going to hook here. Okay, and you'll notice that the chain is mainly even around the tire. It's good and snug. And if something happens that you do break a cross link, you've got the bungee in place. If one of these cams will happen to come loose, you break a cross link. This bungee will keep tension against the tire. Okay, and that will conclude our entire chain installation lesson for today. Thank you.